more one step forward, two steps back in Marvel Strike Force. After a very positive blog on Friday, more bugs are plaguing Marvel Strike Force this past weekend. The good thing, it looks like there's more free A Force emblems coming after a Blitz bug last night. And the first season of Cosmic Crucible is over. And despite these bugs, was it still a success or was it a big fail? We're talking about these things along with some Nico Minoru clarifications and your question from the mailbag because it is Monday. So you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hello, Valley Maniacs. I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. Hope you're having a great day and hope you're ready to talk about all about Marvel Strike Force, the bugs, the great blog post that we had this past Friday. And it is Monday, so all of your questions from the mailbag will be answered in this video. So despite our day, and let's, let's just go, let's just start this right now. Let's talk about the blog post, the positivity before we get to all these bugs. So good things that happened in this blog post. Rogue was announced. Now she was was kind of hinted at previously so this is not a huge surprise but she was announced as the second member of this horseman team this next scourge event coming so that is a good thing uh you can unlock her with a force young avengers and inhumans and she's going to be a part of this unlimited x-men team which looks very very strong she does have a little bit thing of crucible defense but most of her kit uh is is pretty strong and and also redoing gambit's kit as well we have a decent event for more wong coming up this uh tomorrow get to wong costume so you can actually get your wong to look like wong in the mcu and i think the best thing about this uh they realized that they forgot all about the farmability of the characters they're going to start to introduce more ways to farm characters like lady that's right coming to a campaign node this week and and one thing that i was wondering about is these mojos mayhem they've been selling costumes for a while we're finally getting some useful shards i don't know if this is a positive or a bad or a negative but get more character shards so this has become a little more more useful as well and they're addressing the spider woman issues but was not addressed is some issues that are going on right now that this reddit post kind of describes kind of the situation with scopely here credit where credit is due at scopely and boundless and the folks over at marvel strike force because this consistency of failure is unmatched despite I, I was liking Cosmic Crucible. It was a very good mode. And personally, I didn't experience too many bugs. Or if I did, I didn't notice it. That was not the case for everybody. After playing this game for a long time, I'm in awe as how a company can F up on such a consistent basis and not lose all of its player base. And on top of that, still making money. 300 million in profits uh, back in 2020. So yeah, a lot of money still being made in this game. But uh, we are playing Cosmic Crucible. Now, the Cosmic Crucible we are working on is not the real Cosmic Crucible. This is the preseason, and we knew that they were going to work out their kinks. We need to pardon their dust. Uh, the real Cosmic Crucible is starting in a few months, but we did get Cosmic Crucible on right now. Let me give you my thoughts, and then I'll show you the bugs that we got with this. Uh, let me go into game right now. I thought this was a pretty fun game mode. I didn't experience any bugs, like I said. Uh, the rewards were pretty good. I ended up winning two times and losing uh, once, and I think... The score was correct, at least in my bracket. That's not the case for everybody, though. And as far as the rewards, if we go into store right now, we got a bunch of this teal gear stuff. So let's go open this and see exactly how good this was. We'll open all four right now. Do we get anything good? Any valuable pieces? Is this better than the Armory 2 orbs? Oh, yeah, this is. And if we're getting this once a week, this is pretty good for everybody like myself that's still not finished with Dark Dimension 5. So I think there's a lot of positives with this game mode. It also didn't take a lot of time and it allowed me to buy some stuff in this supply store and helping my Sharon Carter and get to that global section, my final character for Dark Dimension 5. So there's a lot of positives with this, but there were some negatives as well. This is a scopely game as a matter of fact. So uh, yes, look, we got this tweet. We got a lot of these tweets. Uh, we got a lot of evidence of this happening. This was one that I got. I explained this to me, Marvel Strike Force. I did better by every metric and still lost. This was not the only instance of this. As you get to see, this player, Darth Balls, bought, uh, got 50, over 50,000. This player that they're going against got less than, or a little over 49,000 and still lost that was not the only case another screenshot send on twitter this person fifty thousand. the other person forty nine thousand. still lost even though they had more points unfortunately though this was not addressed yet despite this being a fun game mode for myself 
These were not addressed, and that was a big problem. Why they? Why did they launch a brand new game mode that they knew would have bugs on a weekend when they usually take breaks? But they did not take a break when the Blitz was bugged, as we can see here. Uh, getting A Force emblems this weekend during the Blitz. And uh, yeah, we got some evidence of this. Here's some screenshots of this user losing a battle in Blitz and still getting these A-Force emblems. Some more screenshots attached to this. We can see the A-Force emblems go up there. This person did get these rewards. So yeah, it looks like we got some A-Force emblems coming for free for everybody that did not do this Blitz. I did not Blitz till later on. I did not even know this was a bug. One more, last but not least, or last and least, or last but not least here, yes. More A-Force emblems. So that was an issue here. How many A-Force emblems do you think we're gonna get in response to this? I know there were some people that were able to do two full rotations, losing every single battle. Getting a lot, up to 2,000 A-Force emblems that uh, some users got. So just to make it fair, everybody gets it. And, and in a normal scopely way of doing things, the people that benefit once, they're going to not benefit once. They're going to benefit another time when we get this compensation. So that should be coming. Last but not least, as far as these errors, this one I did not notice until I saw this Reddit post here. Nico Minoru, in-game verse, in-blog, and video tags. So if we take a look at what we saw for Nico Minoru, does not match the tags. If we look at what it said here, uh, we see her tags say, Hero, Global, Mystic, Controller, A-Force. We go to the blog post or the video, the accompanying Strike Time video from earlier today. This was just released today. It says, Controller, A-Force, Hero, Global, Mystic. But when we go in-game and look at her character model in-game, she has this mysterious city tag right here. Where is that city tag coming from? She should be a global character, at least according to this blog post, and not a city character. So I guess that is something that is going to be fixed. But that is it for some of these bugs over the past weekend. Some, hopefully, they're fixed and we get compensation like the Cosmic Crucible bug. Uh, and everybody gets the rewards that they deserve. Maybe some people get some extra stuff. And then hopefully these blitz, more A Force emblems coming. This Nika one doesn't seem that big. I think a lot of people are building her up, not just for war offense. They're building up for this Scourge event and you're needing node five, node 10. Global city. I don't think that stuff matters for Necro. So I think this is a stuff something that they need to get fixed. But uh, I think right now this is not a huge one. But let's go to your mailbag questions, ladies and gentlemen. Because like I said, it is Monday. All right. Should Scopely add more rewards to milestones we can't use? Like the Olympus extract we got seven months ago. Yeah, they should. They should add some. Uh, they should add more Ravager Stitcher shards, or maybe eh, he got a rework. Uh, let's add some Cree Reaper shards. Let's add some Cree Oracle shards. I love useless stuff in the game. It makes me feel like I'm doing so much progress, and makes me feel good. But Scopely loves it because I'm actually making zero progress, and I can buy more stuff. So it's a win-win for everybody. Just a lot of useless stuff like this Olympus extract. And uh, I know sometimes some people can't tell if I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic, guys. Just just to let you know. All right, situation questions and I didn't understand this question wasn't sure if this was for war or for cosmic crucible so I'm gonna add, try to answer this in both ways here situation question do the rules have a Davis to then and I'm obviously this is a misprint I'm not sure what uh, the correct version is supposed to be but uh, do they have a Davis to them uh, for example could Dr. Octopus resist his defense up getting flipped? Uh, yes, he can, but not specifically the room bonuses. Like it says in this question here, uh, it's probably a focus and resistance check thing, not specifically a room rule. Uh, there are some rules in Cosmic Crucible that may do something like this. So let's go take a look at some of these defender advantages that we have in Cosmic Crucible. Because honestly, since it's a new game mode, I don't have them all memorized on the top of my head. So you're getting, and uh, rooms one and two, you're getting your defender's advantage, 20% more health 10 percent extra damage in room uh three all characters turn flipping defense up deflect evade on characters allies so that could affect the question that you're talking about in cosmic crucible i don't think there's anything in war that's going to affect that on all turns on all characters turns if that character has speed up clear positive effects and apply two turns for slow and trauma to that yeah yeah, yeah. i got stuck in that a little bit yesterday when i was doing some of these battles uh other room rule all characters who passively revive on return with one health on a character's return reduce speed bar by 50 percent for that character's cosmic allies so uh 
be careful of the cosmic allies you bring into that room but this should not affect dr octopus as well and speed bars increase and decrease have no effect for those characters so this should i mean uh, what you may have some issues here oh not that one there you may have some issues in room uh four i believe uh, is that room four now yeah, that's room four you may have some issues but i don't think there's anything in uh war that should give you some issues there uh and does immunity protect against the rumors as well again that's gonna be a focus immunity check so if they're applying stuff uh that usually doesn't i'm not sure in cosmic crucible i haven't uh, tested that too much yet i know uh i was wondering if uh, on the speed up if it flicked things through the through the deflects and all that stuff i didn't do enough testing to see if that was actually happening though all right next question valley how we doing my brother i'm doing great i hope you're doing great as well my friend quick simple question do you think hulk will get a rework anytime soon or even a new team as much as i hate to say it probably not you know he needs a rework he's very mini his character model needs a rework because he's a tiny hobbit hulk and his stats could use a boost as well he did get a rework i haven't heard any rumors of a new team i'm not sure where he would go so my guess would be no as unfortunate as it is appreciate all the content to you shout out to not so rookie grinding is that your alliance name name Hulk fist bump to you brother all right good morning valley how are you doing my brother hi i'm doing good i hope you're doing well as well my friend all right i know we have issues with scopely but why don't they take credit for the good things i don't know uh they, they don't they don't publicize a lot of the bad things we didn't get an announcement on these issues with cosmic crucible but there are some good things that happen like the increase to the payday rewards those went from 1.2 to 1.8 1.8 million over the course of a month in gold that should have been publicized that is an easy win they could have taken credit for they did not take credit for that and the thing that you mentioned here they got the google play store rewards back no mention of it i know people were asking about that for months it is now may people have been asking about that since january they haven't really said anything and they bring it back no communication about that as well so i think they're just bad at communications they don't communicate the bad things very well they don't communicate the good things very well as well they just don't communicate very well i mean you want to see what you could get for your google play points if you're not already using the amazon app store i think that has the best value the strike store the web store has some good value as well this also has some good value i would be either using one uh one of those three platforms to do your purchases because i thought there's the best value iphone doesn't have a lot of uh value but the google play because of these play points now that they're back has some extra value the web store because of their milestones is good hit give you a little extra value and then obviously the amazon app store could decrease your spending uh if that is available in your region but yeah they don't take credit for those things they don't take credit for the misses or wins what is up valley flying greens from the philippine not really a question but more of a plea to the devs hopefully they listen hopefully they listen bro <laughs> no spoilers on a new doctor strange but omg you guys really dropped the ball on a proper scarlet witch rework now i don't think that's really spoiling doctor strange we did see wandavision a while ago that she is super super strong so i don't think that's a spoiler to the doctor strange movie but they could have given her a rework back then she when it was revealed how strong she was she was the scarlet witch not just wanda you guys are dropping her, uh, the ball on a proper rework She's the most powerful character in the MCU. She needs to be adjusted accordingly. Better start showing Wanda some love and respect, damn it, or else she's gonna come for you. You better not be disrespecting her scalp, or Wanda's gonna get very, very mad. Hey, Valley, greetings from Maryland. Greetings from Texas, my brother. Hulk fist bump for you. When is the next tower mode? No idea. Sometime in this update. Sometime in update six point. Uh, where do we Six point one. So there's something in this update. I'm not sure when. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess just to be positive sometime before the end of May so hopefully before the end of May is when we're gonna get the next tower mode Valley fine wanted to bring this to your attention won the first crucible match only to be credited as a loss yeah you and many many other people hopefully that will be addressed very very soon we know it's the weekend and they don't know they don't work on the weekends so except if it's a bug towards the player advantage like we had with blitz but yeah they're hopefully we get something today that's addressed hopefully even before this video gets uh goes live maybe maybe between when i'm editing this and recording this that there'll be something announced now i'm in a good brian now 
I am in good Brian's head to get this right as a road here. So support, send me some good vibes that I can correct this. And it isn't happening to others. Screenshot is under the Cosmic Crucible section. Yeah, it is happening to a lot of people. It's happening to a lot of people. So Brian may not even be able to save you, my brother. Hopefully uh, we get some clarification soon from uh, Cerebro. All right, uh, a little confused. Hoping to have some slight on the Cosmic Crucible mode after I finished the first trial. I had the notification that I won the trial. However, when I looked at the deals, my opponent's score was more than I did. So this was a report on the other way around. The opponent actually scored more. He ended up losing one of the reporters, but you're not the only one, my brother. How does the power system point work? And yeah, it's a bug. It's a bug. You should have won, my, or you should have lost. The other person should have won. A lot of people, other there's a lot of uh, errors in Cosmic Crucible right now, but it's in the preseason. They said to pardon their dust. They said that this is a working out the kinks of this game mode. Uh, hey, Valley, took a break from the game about four months, but I'm back. There are a ton of characters and now Cosmic Crucible. Any tips for what a returning player should do we working on? For reference, last character I unlocked was Spider-Punk, and the meta basically was Icarus and Cersei back then. So the good thing, you haven't stopped playing a long, long time ago. You can still kind of make up. Now, as far as the raid meta, that I don't think has shifted too much. The Web Warriors are still going to be the best team in bio. The Secret Avengers, they're still the best team in skill. That has not changed. Shang-Chi still works very good in that game mode. Uh, we also have tech. We, don't, we still don't, don't have a good tech solution, but Doom, Kestrel, Lady Deathstrike is in there now. If you have T'Challa, he might have come out after you stopped playing, but if you have T'Challa, he works great in that game mode as well. Uh, but no solid tech solution for right now in there. Uh, Mixed Stick, you still got your Eternals there. The Eternals and New Warriors smashed that section. And the Axemen are still the best for raids. Now, as far as Arena, Darkhold is taking over Arena. I still see Eternals sometimes, but a lot of the combinations with the Eternals have have Morgan Le Fay. And if you stop playing, you probably didn't unlock Morgan Le Fay. So you're going to struggle there until her Scourge event comes back. I'll start working on my, uh, the Dr. Voodoo team, the Dark Hunters team, Dr. Voodoo, Morbius, if you can. I know they're hard to get right now that their events have ended and Scopely doesn't really like to make characters farmable. So uh, that would be the team to work on for Morgan for when her event comes back. Also, we have the Web Warriors, which you're working on. Keep working on them. You should still be able to unlock her with the Web Warriors, but to get some good, good stars on her, red stars on her, you probably need the Dark Hunters as well. Uh, so that should do it. Not, I mean, you could probably get by with what you have in War right now. And Cosmic Crucible, I would say just do your best. Play, save your great teams for offense. Play some annoying teams on defense and just go with that. Web Warriors that you have actually work pretty good on defense because they're kind of annoying. Rely on a lot of RNG. Sometimes your opponents will smash them. Sometimes they're going to have a lot of trouble with them just based on their dodges and everything like that. So that's kind of what the meta is right now. I would start to work on your Web Warriors. Continue to build them up and continue to work on uh, areas in the game that you're struggling with that you enjoy. Uh, I know it's kind of general, but it's got to be kind of general because I don't know exactly what you like and where your roster is right now. All right. Uh, curious and what do you think the best fist for Dark Dimension 5 is Cosmic? I have Deathpool. Accidental click. Not the worst, but not the best either. Kestrel, T'Challa, and Stitcher. I have enough Mystic for one more. Wasn't sure if Icarus or Strange Heartless would be better or anyone else for that matter. Now, if I was you uh, and you don't have the two Eternals, I started building Icarus a while ago. Just finished up Cersei. My next character that I would use that Mystic Gear on would be Strange Heartless. So uh, Icarus is sort of the meta, the, the old meta that's still around right now. Dark Strange Heartless is part of the Dark Old meta right now. So I would, I would probably be working on him. I only have one unique in Cersei for Cersei, and I don't want to wait forever to get 17 more. Both provide value outside of DD5, and I'm thinking maybe taking the Eternals up for run two regardless. But I know Cersei without Icarus isn't as good. Yes, I, it, it's tough recommending them both without uh, each other. Uh, if you can take Doctor Strange Heartless up for one of them, uh, that'll give you just the characters that you need to enter that first run. And if you take either Icarus or Cersei, that'll give you the final characters. And then you can build up the other one on your second run. Hopefully you get a lot of Mystic gear in there. But if I was in your situation, I didn't have Icarus or Cersei done, I would take in Doctor Strange Heartless. That would be my, that would be my choice there. All right, hey brother, really appreciate what you do. I have a problem. I do not have Agatha yet in my Dark Hole team, and I do not know who I would be the best replacement for War and other game modes. I currently switch between Doom and Mortal. 
What do you think? Uh, I think without Agatha, it's tough. She does a lot of good on that team. She has an opening stun. She puts a lot of debuffs. And her passive puts people into stealth and gives them a lot of extra hits. So you're losing a lot without Agatha. I think what you're using is pretty good, though. Doom is on that team. Mordo, I don't know if I would use Mordo. He does have that stun. So you're kind of getting that stun back. So not the worst choice there. Uh, I, I like Emma because of the speed that she does. Also, she's not a mystic. So you're going to go... If, if you're going against full Dark Hole team, you'll go a little faster than your opponents. Uh, Loki, you usually don't get that because he's a mystic uh, if, if it's a mirror match with another Loki on the enemy team. But uh, using character that's going to get you in front of your opponents. You may not be able to counter a full Dark Hole without the, your Agatha, but uh, you could use someone like Emma or Loki to get in front of the enemies. You could try those. You could continue to try Doom, Mordo. I think those work really good. If there's any, any other characters that I'm forgetting, Getting off the top of my head, Valley Club. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but I guess it's a tough loss, brother. Uh, uh, Doom, Doom is a pretty good replacement. I'm trying to think. Surfer is a character that doesn't have a home. I'm not sure if his skills and his speed line up with the other uh, Darkhold members, but uh, I guess it's worth a shot if you're not using him on any other any other teams. Uh, would you recommend a fifth red on Doom or a fourth red on Morgan? I still struggle with Tech and Doom, and Doom is gear 16 for Duty 5. However, I know Darkhold is one of the more important teams right now. I dislike Arena as I'm rarely on at reset. All right. For most people, I would recommend putting that star on Morgan because that's your arena team. That's going to get you your power cores. She's great in other game modes as well. But for you, since you don't like arena, you're not going to be on our reset and you're struggling with tech and doom, which seems like it's a more of a problem for you. For you, based on what you're saying in this question, I probably would go doom over Morgan just based on that. For most people, though, I would recommend Morgan, but like I said, you don't like Arena. You're not on a reset to really take advantage of her being extra powered. And you're struggling with Doom, uh, Doom, the tech section in Doom. So for that, I would go Doom right now. Eventually, you're going to need that fourth on Morgan and getting all that up. But yeah, go go Doom right now based on where you're at in the game. All right, long question. All right, hey, Valley, I counted a bug in Crucible where the game crashes or soft locks, as Scopely seems to call it, after being a team perfectly, meaning they died before they're able to do anything. They bled out. I took a second attempt, which the exact same turn order and happened again. I made a video a second try, sent it to customer service. Of course, they couldn't care less about it. Gave me this default, reinstall everything and check that you're connected. That's such a trash response. You probably got Brian there. Real response, blaming me for their bug. I assume they didn't watch the video at all. So I've said this many times in these uh, question and answer mailbag videos. Sometimes you get good customer service responses and they're awesome. It's exactly what you need, exactly what you're missing. You know, a good customer service response would have said, hey, take these, take these credits. You get the win or you get an extra attack back. I'm not sure if they have the ability to do that, honestly, because it's such a new game mode. They're still trying out things, but that's what a good customer service response. This is what you got was absolute crap. I'm not sure if they know how to do anything different, though, because like I said, it's a new game mode. How did it give you an extra uh, attack back or two extra attacks after you got that video, especially if you shared this video with them? Uh, so my question is, is there a way to let devs know about an issue circumventing ignorant customer service example, sending a video to an envoy like you or is a Discord server? So I'm not aware of a Discord server other than the envoy server where players uh, or envoys post stuff that's sent to players. So I think the best thing would be to tag me on Discord and send it there and I can send it off to the devs. Because uh, Cerebro, Lori, they seem to look into some things. I don't know if they get listened to as often as I would like them to get listened to, but they seem to look into things a little bit more. Sometimes they respond, sometimes they don't. So send it in. Hopefully it's one that they respond to. Here's a link to the video. We can go check out the link in just a little bit right here. This is this is what the video looks like. And this is a battle of the match. As I continue to uh, read the question, uh, in the past three years where I sent in a bug, I got a, we sent it to devs response, but nowadays it's just a, we don't care. Uh, their incompetent, ignorant responses become unbearable. I get it. I get it. You're probably getting a lot of Brian re re your video. Here's the link to the video. Maybe you can forward it to people who could solve the bug. I will forward it right after this video. After watching the video again, I assume the problem with the ISO 8 fortifier class of uh, Luke Cage. As we can see, all of the enemy team took a turn and bled out. So did Luke Cage. But after he died, he got barrier from fortifier. So I guess that's a reason for the soft lock. Yeah, here's a soft lock. Nothing happening. The battle is won. Uh, but nothing happens. There it is. There it is. There's the battle. It's gone. And it is still paused. All right. So 
yeah hopefully that gets fixed soon i'm gonna forward this up to the devs uh right after i finish recording this video and hopefully they could forward it to the correct department uh valley i lost my trial and crucible even though i had a higher vp i just needed each stage one attack my opponent had to use two attacks in one stage they do have a higher tc but i thought the vp would be the first tiebreakers if we cleared the both the same number of stages the bug or is this how tiebreakers work? This is not how tiebreakers work. This is a bug, my brother. And hopefully this gets fixed. Hopefully there's a statement out soon. Hopefully there's a statement out today. And even better if the statement comes out before this video is even released. Because as of me recording this, no statement. That is it, though. That is all I have for you guys. Hopefully you have a great rest of the week. Hopefully Scopely fixes these bugs and continues to build momentum over some of the good things that they did before the bugs of this weekend and hopefully we do get that response from scopely very very soon that is it for me though if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button it does help the video and if you hit that notification bell you get notified as soon as a new video goes up that's all i got for you this week though we got at least five videos per week on this channel so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know as soon as a new video goes up i will see you guys next time we stream every weekday morning over on twitch so stop by there for the valley club in the morning and yeah more videos so come hang out check me out on social media and if you want to support the channel some of which have no cost you check out some of the sponsors down below guys i'll see you guys next time get that hulk fist bump make sure you have a great rest of your day stay hydrated and i'll see you at the top hulk fist bump valley flying out